Good morning everyone. So today we are going to see some of the questions based on street number. These questions have been sent by one of my students. So let's see these questions and understand what is the concept behind this and how to approach this question. Now in the first section we can see that these are the multiple choice questions. It means that among these options, only one option will be correct and the rest of the options are incorrect. And let's see the first question. A publishing house purchased a printing machine for rupees 50,000. At the end of the final year, the value of the machine is supposed to be rupees 10,000 rupees. If the loss in the value is assumed to be linear, then what is the yearly loss in the value of the machine? We need to find out the yearly loss of in the value of the machine. Now, let's see that what are the data that has been provided and which are going to help us in finding the solution. So, one thing you can observe that we have already given that at the initial year when the year was zero, we were having the value that was 50,000. And at the end of the 5th year, which means when year was 5, the value was given to be 10,000. Now you already saw that there is a loss in the value and this loss has to be assumed as linear. It means that linear means it will be somewhat in the equation of y is equal to mx plus c. Which is nothing but the equation of the straight line. Now, some of me, you may be thinking that what we need to exactly find, whether it will be a C or whether it will be M. Now, let's see that how to approach this question and how we will be getting the value for this answer question. Now, it's already given that, it's already given that, let's make uh, these mark, these points and let's find out the first of all the equation of, equation that what we Wrote that y is equal to mx plus c, and then we will be finding that what exactly we need to calculate. So I have made an axis you can easily see. So let me let us mark this axis also. Let it be this is y axis and this is the x axis. These are my axis. Now one thing you saw that this this let us consider that this is my origin. This is my origin. So I have to consider this as my origin. And I let me mark this as one first year, then second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year. So I have arbitrarily marked these years. So X represent my years and Y represent my cost. So writing out the cost from 200 or 300 would be really tough as our y-axis will approach to infinity. So we will mark it with, we will start the marking with 10,000 for our convenience. So this will be 10,000, then it will go 20,000, 30,000, 40, 50, and 60 and so on. Okay. Now let's, if you observe the question carefully, I already saw, uh, I already said you to mark these points that at the initial year, it was 50,000. So let me mark it that when the year was 0, our cost was how much it was 50,000, which was this one. So if you mark this point, it means 0, 50,000. Okay. And in the next uh, line, it was saying that at the end of the 5 year, which, which means this 5 year, it decreased up to 10,000. It means that this point will be plotted somewhere here. Now, you already know that it is asking us that at what rate the, there is a decrement in the cost with respect to the year. Okay, so we can write like this. D cost by D year, which is nothing but your delta Y by delta X. Means in a specific period or, or in one year. So suppose delta X we will be considering year one as one only. So in 
one year then what will be the change what will be the change or what will be the loss we can calculate by this but you already know that delta y by delta x nothing but it is equal to the m which is slope which is m which is your slope so what slope you have to find which slope is this the line joining this point and this point let me join this by a straight line let me join this by a straight line so this is my line that is joining these two points and you all have it's not marked this point it's marked this this point is nothing but 5 comma 10 also now you have to find out the slope of this equation because in every uh, if you take out the slope of this two point also this two point also otherwise this is will continue the slope will be always equal because they lie on the same line so you exactly need to find out the slope of this overall equation when we already know what is the point so uh, you already know what is the formula for finding out this slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and now one one way you may do that you can consider any one of as y1 and any other as y2 so let's assume that this is my uh, x2 y2 point and this is my x1 y1 point now substituting the value let's find out the uh, what will be the answer coming up So y2 is my fifty thousand and my y1 is ten thousand. By x2 will be my five and uh, sorry x2 will be my zero and x1 will be my five. So when you calculate this, this will be forty thousand by minus five, which will give you minus eight thousand. So somebody can ask me that why this minus sign? What this minus sign represents? This represents the There is a loss in the money, and that's why every year, or uh, you can say per year, yearly loss is your eight thousand rupees. So let's find out whether the eight thousand is there in the option or not. Yes, we can find eight thousand is this option. So this is the correct answer. Moving on to the next question. Now a line is represented by seven y is equal to fifty six minus eight x. If the mirror image is taken with respect to y axis, a new line is formed. What will be the equation of the new line? Now it is saying if this question is very simple, uh, I think most of you have understood already. The uh, what data are given? Let's find out the equation. Uh, sorry, equation of line is already given. Equation of line is already given. You can see. And now uh, you are going to treat y axis as a Mirror. So you uh, and then a mirror image will be created, and you have to find out the image of that mirror. Uh, sorry, you have to find out the equation of the new line form or that mirror. Okay, fine. So we solve the next uh, question. Let's solve the next question. What it is telling? We already saw that the equation was given as seven y is equal to. Fifty-six minus eight x. So this is the equation. Now, first task that we have to do is that first of all we will convert this equation in intercept line equation, uh, where the interest it will be written in uh, the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to one. This is nothing but intercept form of line. So we will be trying to convert this equation in this form. So let's find out. So it can be written as seven y by fifty six uh, plus eight x by fifty six. When you are going to simplify, you are going to get this. I don't need to explain this. I assume that you people already know this. So it can be written as y by eight by x by seven. So this is your equation. Now let's try to plot this similar. Uh, Let's draw this line on to the figure. So I already uh, this is my y-axis. Let me make my y-axis, and this is my then x-axis. Now 
this is my x axis so let's arbitrarily make this point so that it will be easy for us so i point somewhere here my as 08 and somewhere here as my 7,0 and let's join these uh, points by a line so i join this by a line now what the question was telling y axis is treated as a mirror y axis is treated as a mirror so exactly it means that the points will be flipped off in a just opposite direction or it will be rotated somewhat in 180 degrees okay so now if this point is here at the right hand side so here it will go somewhere to the left hand side but the distance from here it will be the same for example from here it has become 7 so here also it will still be somewhere 7 only but you know the points on the coordinate changes so it will become somewhere as your minus 7 comma 0 it will become what it will become your minus 7 comma 0 Now, as you know, zero point zero uh, and eight will be as it is because it is lying on y-axis because it will not change anywhere. The x-axis will be there. So now I am getting two points, set of two points where I can be making a new line again. So let me draw a new line which is joining this one zero comma eight, which is on y-axis, and minus seven. Comma zero, which is on x-axis. So I am getting this uh, line. Now let's find out the equation of this line which I have formed. Now this will be somewhere. As you know that intercept, we have got some intercept. So we don't need to do much work. That will be x by minus seven plus y by eight is equal to one. Now if you simplify this, this will become y by eight is equal to one plus x by 7 do the cross multiplication and this 8 will go this side so this y will become your 8 by 8x by 7 plus 8 so this is the equation that we have got on this new line form let's find out whether this option is there or not so if you look carefully yes this option is given which is somewhere here so this is your answer which is y is equal to 8 by 7x plus 8 and let's find out whether this answer is there yes we have got the same answer